So we got the fox here back into the garage, uh, kind of halfway in its natural habitat uh, on jack stands. But today we're going to work on putting the the anti-roll bar in. Um, on the last video you saw we did the the control arms, changed the the bushings on the upper axle with solid uh, saw bearing or uh, saw bushings so there's no more rubber or polyurethane bushings on the rear end it's all solid all aluminum and so far the car drives so much better um, so like I said today we are working on getting the anti-roll bar put in uh, this was part of the kit uh, with the control arms. Didn't want to make the first video too long with the control arms and all, so I decided to split this up. But like I said, we're going to install this today. Uh, this is the hardware that we're going to need to install it, and this will require require some welding. And got rid of my Harbor Freight welder, picked up a new Eastwood. Had a little deal going on online, so picked it up it's a MIG slash flux welder and I'm running as a MIG welder today you can see I got a bottle back there it's a cute little bottle see how far that little ball gets me but uh, it's a MIG 135 I almost got a Lincoln 140 but this welder is like literally half the price of the Lincoln it does basically the same thing uh, all the reviews and everything so I've I've already used it a little bit, just practice, and uh, really can't compare with the Harbor Freight water I had, but this thing welds a thousand times better. Makes me look like a pro, sorta. Of. But anyways, guys, um, another thing I want to show y'all, uh, if you're on my Facebook group page, you already seen this and already know what's going on. So picked up a, a six point row bar I've already sanded it down and threw some primer on it uh, didn't really think it was necessary really filming of that pretty much just me just sanding them down and throwing some primer on it and I got the hoop out here uh, sprayed out last night I actually ran out of primer went down to old rice picked up a can and that's why this one's a little bit different color but uh yeah so it's all sanded and primed up i do plan on painting it black hopefully i got enough back black paint uh took me three cans almost four cans to primer uh everything and i just got four cans of black paint um, i probably don't think i'm gonna have enough to do everything but I may go ahead and order like two more cans uh, to finish it off but anyways guys we're gonna get to the anti-roll bar and get her installed should be should be too hard to do all right so underneath the car I went ahead and disconnected the fuel lines or well, where I have them mounted to the bottom of the floorboard Time just gotta move out of the way because they were originally running like right up in here. But we need to uh, clean up this area on both sides. But first, um, we're gonna find out where we need to clean. I got a marker that uh, will kind of mark out, uh, mark where we need to clean out. Uh, we need bare surface have a good service to weld to and uh, once we do both sides we can put the bar up measure and make sure everything looks good nice and straight and everything all right so the bearing uh, well the plate that's gonna go up here has a bearing in it it's hard to play hard to see the lighting off but each one is marked so P for passenger, P for passenger side and D for driver side 
So right now we're on the passenger side. I'm just gonna just mock this up as so. Uh, the instructions say you want it up all the way against your upper control arm uh, mounting here. I guess what we want to call it. So like I said, you got a little bit of room go up and down. But uh, I'm just gonna mark the area that I'm gonna be grinding down. We got a little yellow paint marker here. We're going to do the same thing on the driver's side. Alright, so everything is in place. Uh, pretty close to start welding. Uh, very measured everything. Uh, it's kind of hard to do things we are on the ground. But, uh, I'm guessing a lot here. So I measure from here to here on both sides. And I measure from the floor to the bar and everything measures out pretty well so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just tack it in place and make sure everything's still uh, in place and most importantly this moves freely tacked up and everything moves freely so now uh, go ahead and start uh, just welding it up uh, probably put a little more tax in it then we'll check it then we'll completely weld it up just to make sure I also want to keep in mind uh, when you're welding this up you do have bearings in here so you want to do like about an inch inch or so at a time let it cool down go again let it cool down and weld again so you don't overcook the bearings and the, the seal that's in it I'd say it's hard to weld on the ground water here spray on it cool it down
All right, so now I'm working on welding the tabs on to the axle. I just tacked them on uh, where they need to be. Everything looks good. It's got a little bit of slack in like it's supposed to. So now I'm just going to just weld these up. Um, I was kind of worried about the brake line here interfering, but everything looks pretty good. Uh, it's not going to interfere with it. It's going to clear it just fine. So I just need to be careful when I go to weld these up and not uh, tear up a line. So let's get to the weld these up. I'm going to have to crank the welder up a little bit because it looks like it's having a little trouble penetrating the uh, axle. So hopefully we can get a good weld on it. That is not pretty. Alright guys, so pretty much gonna wrap it up here. Um, the last bit was to put the links on, bolt them down, which is really simple to do. Um, according to the instructions, you need to have at least four threads on each side. Then put them on so you have an equal length and all. Um, They'll both up just fine. I don't think I really curious about my my welding job here on the axle. See how well it's gonna hold up. And if they don't, I guess I'll get a hold of a J Fab and see if we can he can weld them up for me. I think my welder just doesn't have enough juice to do it uh, to penetrate the axle that well. So I mean, we'll see if it holds up or not. Do a couple of hard launches and uh, see if they fall apart or not. So, uh, uh, just got some paint on them, primed it up, and really throw any paint on top. Uh, just a primer for right now. But, um, had to rearrange my fuel lines because it was interfering with the bar on the pasture side there they want any pinching or anything so it got kind of tucked away the best I can get it should be issues there uh, everything's already tightened down everything's ready to roll uh, I'm ready to just drop the car down and well clean up and drop the car down and take it on the block see how it does everybody's telling me they street they uh, they street drive them with this connected, so I'm kind of curious how it's going to drive. All right, before I drop the car, you can see I put some yellow marks. You can't really see on that side, but uh, kind of keep a track on uh, uh how I'm adjusting it. Uh, according to the instructions, you want about two to three inches of play uh, with the suspension. Uh, well, you want two to three inches of space there with the the suspension compressed so it's compressed right now uh, it's recommended have somebody in the car but I don't have anybody sitting in the car so uh, what I did is I just gave it three inches even both sides uh, 
hopefully it works out well that way. I shouldn't compress that much me getting in the car. But got three inches of play. So hopefully it doesn't ever hit ball and floorboard there. So I got everything off everything tightened down and uh ready to uh drop the car and take around the block to see how she All does. Right guys. So just pretty much I uh, wrapped up the video here. I uh, took the car out for a drive just around the block. Drove pretty good. Uh, you could definitely tell that the roll bar, the anti roll bar is back there. Uh, you kind of want to leave the driveway. Use the car has like a little flex to it. It didn't flex at all. So just things like that you can tell. I um, guess the true test of the welds on the uh, tabs for the axle will be some hard launching and all. But uh, but so far her thing's holding up pretty good. And uh, next we'll be working on the uh, the roll cage or roll bar, what you want to call it. Uh, they're already painted. Uh, got about two more weeks before I start putting that in. Because um, we need to start tearing interior now and all. Um, mainly the seats. Everything else is pretty much tore out. But uh, we'll be working on that in a couple weeks. But uh, we've got the anti roll bar put in. Seems to be great. Uh, the rule, like I said, the rule true test will be. Uh, some hard launching. Uh, I've already, I've already told so far it, it hooks better. Uh, it's not perfect. I think mainly because you know the bald tires are pretty much bald. And I mean it's it's just the street. It's not a it's not a track track surface. But anyways, guys, I hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps you out if you need to install an anti roll bar. Um, I think my only thing, uh, the biggest issue I was having was welding the tabs onto the axle. I think my welder just wasn't just powerful enough. I had cranked all the way up, kind of turned down the wire speed, uh, just so I can just heat the metal up. But hopefully it holds. Um, everything else, the, the roll bar part up in the car, uh, is welded up good. That shouldn't be going anywhere. And uh, but yeah, guys. Um, just gonna wrap up the video here. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.